Hey, it's Dan, and welcome to Unified Gaming. So tonight we're on the Arcanist. This thing is a lot of fun, okay? We are going to be kind of showing in Battlegrounds, Cyrodiil, and kind of how it fares overall. Um, if you have any questions though, let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to try and reply. This guy rolls loads. There you go. So yeah, um, if you are new to the channel, um, I do have Discord and socials and stuff, so they'll be on screen. So if you have any questions after the stream, then do check those out. And I'm gonna say a massive thanks to just everybody on Patreon who helps support and make the videos possible. It really, really means a lot. So we're gonna queue for Battlegrounds. And then I'm going to kind of talk about the pros and the cons having used the Arcanist for... Oh, it's got to be a week and a half solidly, like most nights. Um, I've got my PvP stuff almost to level 10. So I've been doing loads of that with Battlegrounds, um, Imperial City, you name it. And I've learned an awful lot having done the class. And um, maybe I was wrong, actually. I think the class is very, very good if built in a specific way. Uh, there's my stat page for people curious on the back bar. I'm buffed. Uh, we have almost 28k armor. On the front bar, our weapon and spell damage goes to 7,000 as soon as we get into combat. And it stays there all the time, pretty much. It is stupid. So this is a really, really good build. And before I forget, I'm going to quickly feed as I am a vampire stage 3. And that is really, really helpful. So I'm queued for Battlegrounds, I'll queue for Cyrodiil as well. Um, currently it is mid-year mayhem on the live server. So there's loads of PvP going on which is great, but the queues are insanely long. So I cannot um, speed it up, but we will try and get into Cyrodiil because I do want to show this off. Honestly, this is probably one of the better setups I've seen out there. Hey, you're right, Shotgun. He says, how are, how are you? I'm all good, mate. I am really enjoying the Arcanist. Like, really enjoying the Arcanist. Um, I think it's one of my favourite classes for PvE. And in PvP, it's really, really um, underrated. I'm not using proc sets. So if people are going, oh, you're using like, Master's Jewel and stuff, none of that. Um, so, yeah. You, you kind of see what it does. But no, really fun class to play, and yes, as I said, I'm all good. Oh, our first battleground is ready. Uh, the queue for Cyrodiil, just before we can check, is 24 minutes. So we will go and get in and out of there. Let me eat that little person. We just need to eat this twice to get the um, undeath. Undeath is like god mode in PvP. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Uh, Shotgun says he plays melee Arcanist in PvP. Honestly, it's really, really slept on as a class. Like, really, really slept on as a class. I would say, just a quick, you know, pros and cons with the Arcanist. It lacks range. It does not have any range. It is really, really bad for that. So, I would suggest that you go and have misform. <laughs> you need misform, basically. And I think I need to go morph that again. You can see I'm, I'm switching between PvP and stuff a lot. There we go. So what deathmark on. We are going to get, we've got a uh, Templar and a Warden with us. And so DK, Nightblade, DK, Sork, Arcanist, and Sork, Templar, and something else at the bottom. Templar. Okay. So I'm just going to push down here. So he's got his Kratos on, he has. DK healing is stupidly busted. We will try and stun that guy at some point. Oh, I might have made up the top. 
I was too busy trying to sort all my potions out. <laughs> there we go. Let's go to this uh, person at the top. This is the only worst bit with those with the skill. It like really misses a lot the beam. So you have to get the sun on. Okay, so purple has lots of range, so we're gonna go for the reds. Sometimes you can get some cheeky kills if you um Oh, they've got that dude there. So I'm just moving around. Oh, I went for the... Uh, went for my uh, thing and got stunned. Hey, right, Alan. Talks are so mobile. They stole that kill. Absolutely stole that kill. The nightbird's shipping me from behind. You can see the arrows coming in. Oh, you're up, right, Hatings. So moving around. You can see how tanky you can be. Ah, oh, I got hit with Jesus Beam. <laughs> Jesus Beam got me. Ah, the Templar hit me with that as well. So, um, Shotgun says 30k resists up to 7.3k weapon damage and 26k pen. Yeah, mine gets 7,000 weapon damage without Balorg. Which is like stupid. With Balorg it's like 8.5k damage. It's, I, don't, I don't use Balorg though because I've got enough damage on it. I didn't want to get rid of that night blade, so I was, I was trying to focus that night blade hit me with toxic barrage, and I got greedy. <laughs> I was not looking at behind me. So as you can see, we're using Rally and Cry. Uh, that's kind of like a staple. Uh, I don't have the Master's Jewel World. I know some people ask about that. How did I help us? Like, I literally have somebody uh, sitting on my kills. So I've got quite a few, so I'm just going to uh, put my buffs down here. Definitely some like, delay there. So low, so low in health, so low in health. Yeah, I've got the night bake behind me. Overload. You see that person trying to use the Jesus beam on me. I'm dead. How do they steal that kill again? 
literally I've had 12 assists. Oh, DK on the right. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, AKZ says, uh, Jesus being needs enough. That's radiant oppression. It's all red glory. I got well greedy there for that uh, nightmare, and I got him. My health bar is so low. <laughs> I was getting spammed with executes. So yeah, um, with the Arcanist, the big thing I found is proc sets are okay, but it doesn't really fill up the class. And you're actually better just stacking stats. Oh, that Templar's using Jesus Beam. That's why I'm getting no kills. Oh, I'm not watching my health bar. You should probably watch my health bar. <laughs> I was wondering why I'm getting like no kills. It's because the guy with us is spamming uh, the execute. So anybody that roll dodges just gets killed. Purple D cap there. Oh, I didn't mean to jump the lava. That was, that was not good. There he's, oh, th 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 he stole the execute again. Look at him. He stole it again. <laughs> How do I get an assist there? That's actually madness, that is. Next to coming in on me, there it was. Oh, I'll go with Jesus Beam. Uh, AK says there's no major breach. Um, no, I found that if you use like you can use an ice staff on the back bar, and I have an ice staff of Raddy and Cry, but the skills I found you don't, don't have enough bar space. And if you use the charge jewel world, you can get like a fire glyph and a frost glyph. I'm waiting for that uh, Jesus being executed. There it is. Oh, I went to go to kill all three of them with those. <laughs> yeah, 17 assists. Uh, was he a Templar? Yeah, he was a Templar. <laughs> there he was. <laughs> that Templar stole all of the kills that match. Literally every single kill he stole had like double damage. And it, yeah, that's so annoying when you get loads of Templars in the match. Um, yeah, so I'll go through the skills and why I'm using what I'm using. And kind of how it works so well. Um, we'll do one more. We'll check where we are with Cyrodiil. 23 minutes. So we'll do another BG. Uh, AKZ says... Bar space is really tight. 100%. Oh, Peaches is ready. 
So with the skills, you have a choice. Do you play into the Fate Carver game, which I personally like. It makes the class feel sort of unique. Um, so, and you have to choose your spammable. You can go with the stamina flail, basically, or you have a choice and go with rune blades. Having used both extensively, I think the flail is better, in all honesty. It generates crux. It doubles the damage. So when we get to uh, into combat our damage goes to like 9k so this is like a 9k tooltip and obviously we're doing 100% damage it's 18,000 it hits really hard so I think this is the better spammable you then choose fake carver um, I use blood craze I don't have master's dual wield but I use blood cra um, craze because it's a bleed damage and it procs hemorrhaging because we have a charged um, offhand you then need a stun which this is one of the best stuns in the game and then the recuperative tree ties is just sustain. So you find that you kind of have this as a front bar, maybe a different skill here. And in your back bar, you have armor, you have a big shield, you have a heal over time, and then you have your rune, which is armor again, and a heal if you get low health. So you have like one spare spot, which is generally misform. Some kind of movement, misform, race against time. And so you have like really, really limited space. As I'm dead. As I'm dead. There we go. So that's two kills already. Uh, Shotgun says he uses a uh, runic embrace as the spammable. Oh, that's, I literally hit the wrong button. I hate DKs. <laughs> DKs are so annoying. Yeah, Runic Embrace is very cheap and it's good for Crux Gen. Dead. I'm eating grab. They grabbed our relic. Of the beam. Ah, oh, look at that. I absolutely love the beam. Yeah, really can brace. I haven't used it much because it's kind of a PvE, I find. Unless you're going to use it to charge up your uh, flail. Oh, I, I so was holding block there. <laughs> so holding block and got stunned through that. Yeah, let's look, look at uh, Runic and Brace whilst we're waiting. Um, it's this one here. So it's really cheap. It puts Maim on them. Six to seven status effects with colourless pull. Yeah, I have the same. I've got a uh, burning, poisoned, um, chilled from the rune, hemorrhaging, saundered because it's physical damage. So there's like a lot of status effects just because of the dual ward and the glyphs we use. Ah, so quick. He's so freaking quick. Look how quick he is. Ah, oh, I couldn't see Z break. Could not see Z break. I spent all this time trying to chase that guy. He's so fast. I am missing some passives in my medium armor, which I probably should put in, actually. Yeah, that will help. You don't see that so often, do you? That's one dead. That's both of them dead. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I got hit with a uh, spin to win. I went greedy though, I did. So yeah, I think the Arcanist is a lot better than I first gave it credit for. And eight so far. That's him dead. Steady DK. He's a Mara's bomb on this dude. Let's go grab that relic while we're here. Yeah, so 10 status effects. Um, so if I get that now, they're going to come here. So I know it would be better. Two, two DKs. Absolutely disgusting. There's a purple coming up. I do like the Arcanist, yes. I think the Arcanist has a lot going for it. Uh, no, I don't use any reduced cost. So I, I literally am stacking damage. Now, realistically, what I should do is swap out the freedom for Vigor, because that scale is really high. Ellen says, what do you think of Necros in PvP? I'm using the Warrior, um, surprisingly. Necros are like... So-so. That stun is so freaking annoying. I just ran out of resource. Literally ran out of resource. Uh, yeah, I'm using the warrior. I did try Retro Vitality. I tried um, Daedric Trickery, which I like. I think that's really good. Um, I tried... Hate cloak so much. Such a shitty skill. Honestly, like it really is. <laughs> Daedric's good and everything. <laughs> uh, Daedric is. It is a good set. But um, not it. They grabbed that one. Let's see if we can get the purple one. Oh, the. Well, to five. Yeah, so, um, Sabrine was saying, uh, they to the necro bit, they don't feel like they have much burst, um, especially when they're pressured by two people. I think that's to the necro or, or the arcanist. Um, I'd say the arcanist lacks burst hills. And so, in the past two matches, what I've been doing is using this and then alternating with the room guard of freedom. 
So essentially, you don't use... Because the water skills cost so much, that's 5k magicka. You can't afford to spam this. So you basically use this as a heal over time. So essentially what you do is when you get low health, you cast that and you get to ring guard freedom and then your shield. And then you do another one of those if you need or uh, another one of those. But essentially what you're trying to do is charge up these. Pinchester, can you play BG with a Nightblade? Uh, yeah. Nightblade is very, very good. I really like that Nightblade. Yeah, I think Nightblade has a lot going for it. Well, they're not burst heals though, because this is a 9k heal, so it's actually 5,000 in PvP roughly. This is a shield, which is 10k, which for a second then it drops down again. And this is a heal over time, which is, is, is 9k plus a heal over time, so 12k. If you compare to a Diga, which has like a 15,000 coag, I'm having to essentially stack two or three heals to try and have that when you get low you can kind of bounce back option um you can if you want for more damage and more sustain this go to arcanist domain and get the uh xena's empowering disc this is quite good it's good sustain good damage you can drop this for like misform i personally prefer misform though i think it's better So when you get a bit like this, just chuck out the beam into a group and you can get some cheeky kills. There you go. <laughs> That's two kills. That guy has no health. Oh, CCs. So you can, see, you can see the damage is. You have to be really. I'm not using trickery at all, by the way. You have to be really aggressive. Your damage and your sustain essentially goes on how aggressive you are. The more aggressive you are, uh, the more sustain you have. Uh, nine kills so far. So I'm playing much more aggressive this time. The DK healing is insane. City not bad. DK's always been good in PvP <laughs> since forever. Oh, I got, I got greedy there. I got so greedy. I got, we hit the end cap in the Esprit stack. Ten kills, Rick. Uh, so Sib says, "What are you running?" Um, yes, yeah, so I said it's not Daedric trickery. I'll jump into IC in a second and just show you the stat page buffed. It's like stupid. Uh, 
Oh, you don't bash me. This is the worst bit though, when it misses loads. How are you feeling about Dark Convergence? With the ult being on the ground? Uh, with that ult being going around? Uh, do you mean the one where people pull them in and like, try to blow them up? Seems a few people tried to do it. not played. He's using... Uh, uh, I don't manage to get him with that. Oh, then Batman should bash me. A shotgun said there's so many ways to play the Arcanist that you like it. Uh, I'd say it's quite limited though. Like, you have to play melee. It has obviously really good support builds and really good kind of um, utility in that regard. But as a damage dealer, you have to just get in their face, there's no other option. Oh, the DD managed to get in there. Yeah, th th I said there, there are a few ways, but for DD, you are like forced to, to go melee. I do like when you can do this though in a group and just do like loads of damage. Dead. Yeah, mi yeah, this one can teleport you over stuff. It's really useful. It's like streak now. It got changed a while back. I think it went from like no health to full health. Yeah, 21 kills. This guy's a squish.
It's definitely good fun though. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm trying not to die. I'm trying not to die. Don't die, mate. Don't, 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 don't. I'm trying to keep the DK alive that we have. Hey, look at Tate. Uh, Tate just says, I'm just still leveling his skills on his, but not really feeling them. The effects are really cool and freak me out, especially when I'm on the receiving end of them. I think it's one of those classes, if you get the Falofi amulet, really good. But it's actually really good in PvE. Oh, and to roll. I've got, I've got greedy. I was trying to see if you can hit them, but they've got a lot of healing in that group. Look, you can see that guy spamming heals on his uh, ally. But you know, cheers for the sport, Tate. Really appreciate that, mate. Um, so you've got two skill lines left to go. Okay, 24 to 3. 1.2 million damage. Oh, that was good. That was good. Let's see if our BGs is ready. Yeah, what, uh, are you looking for a tank or kind of a DPS? Because I find obviously it's it plays very differently to other DPS and like damage dealers in PvP. Uh, is our serial ready? There's an hour, got an hour on it. Oh, savage. I'll show the stats. If people can work out... Uh, Kevin says, wait, why does your loading screen look so cool? That's what it normally looks like. <laughs> There's one set that is like the best set for Arcanist. Um, and in all honesty, it will get nerfed if people use it because it's basically de um, clever alchemist it is but at all times which is like stupid so we'll go and i'll show you if you've played eso a lot you will know kind of um what i mean so we're looking for nobles there's no yeah that zone just got wiped temple nobles So I'll show you this, the stat pages and you can get an idea of kind of why our tooltips are so high. Um, for the sets I'm using, because I'm using a mix of sets, I'm using, I'm not using a full monster set. So I did look at Rakosa, it's called. Um, and I didn't use that. I went with One Piece Baron Thrist, because you can see it there. And I would use One Piece Magma Incarnate, because it gives you almost the same as Rakosa for like most of the fight. Rather than Rakosa being sort of, you have to be in combat for like 20 seconds to equal it. So uh, let's go and just. So, when I'm fighting people. Oh, he's gone. Bye bye. He's. Look how quick he is. So, let me get a buff up, okay? So that's our weapon damage. Pretty stupid, isn't it? And what's mad is it's really easy to charge. And we're back up again. Like, it is ridiculous. Uh, it's not Fury. It's a better set than Fury. But it, it honestly, it is... If you were to make a damage set for the Arcanist, that is what you would use. Because it is so easy to use. And it's so much damage for doing nothing. It's actually ridiculous. And it's not Titanborn or anything like that. Oh, I can't see. This is where we... 
this is where we are trying to get to the yellow and I just can't catch him. I've got no range. <laughs> so, so, so sucky. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very good set. I don't, don't kill, I don't kill yellow, so why not? That was a big Dawnbreaker. That guy hit me really freaking hard there, didn't it? Uh, yes, Sib. That's why it's so stupid. I think they will with they, they see how good it is. That's a terrible time to get stunned. I literally I run out of stamp because I rolled. <laughs> That's an awful time to get stunned. <laughs> yeah, I, I went too aggressive there. But yeah, it's a... Uh, it is a very, very good set. Um, what makes it so good is that it procs freely and you can back bar it or, and front bar it so you can like, go between the two. And that's why it's such a solid set. Is our seared already? Nine minutes apparently, even though we've not moved at all. <laughs> uh, Sib says I can be real, but I don't think anyone is using it but you. Honestly, it is. When you realise and you go, what set will be really good? Literally, that is like the best set for this class. Because. It gives you essentially 500 weapons by damage at all times. That's two dead already. Three dead. Uh, Tate says, "What sets are we talking about?" When I get, when I get safe, I'll show you. Finish him. Shh. Uh, when I get with the laser. No, someone's sniping me. Can't. Be okay, let's go for that sniper at the back. I saw you over there. I saw what you did. That sniper got away. Oh, we're, we're gonna go take the guards out. Oh, I think we can go for the whole lot. We're gonna go for a whole lot. Oh, he's got a necro pole. So annoying. Oh, 
got missed away and uh, put on the hill. Evil around there. So you might notice I'm using my uh, blood craze. Ah, we got in there. That yellow actually is doing the right suit. Really? That's just annoying. Yeah, I did think about Fury as well. Is that ours? That's, no, that, that's not ours. I, I pushed my miss for me, didn't I? <laughs> that was good though. Look at me beams. Got three different beams at once. It's, that's literally going to be PvP when I get into Cyrodiil. So yeah, um, the set I'm the, that I'm using, and I will make a video on it, um, is this. Ravager. Ravaging Mace, or the Ravager set, is really freaking good. Okay? So, if you want to kind of go why, um, it's 142 um, weapons by damage, but that can proc four times. So essentially, it's 568 weapons for spider damage. What's good about this, though, is every time you try to lower somebody's armor, you get a proc. So for most classes... Oh, I put them on the wrong button. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's my mate's uh, thing. Let me turn it off. There we go. That's something I've been working with my mate, Reese. So that is something you will see very soon. Uh, we're looking to do like a co-op stream thing. So uh, apologies about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so essentially what makes Ramager really good is that it gives you essentially this 568 weapon and spell damage. And so because of that, you just get loads of free damage. And most classes normally have to go and use a armor debuff like Puncher or Noxious Breath or Deep Fissure. So it's really hard to kind of proc. Whereas on the Arcanist, your armor buff tries to lower somebody's armor when they hit you. So you can literally put this in the back bar, your armor buff, have Raven Joe in the front bar, and then this will then charge as you get, to get hit. And this basically recharges so quickly that it's like up almost all of the time. So as soon as I'm getting attacked, and Dot will proc this too. So if you go into any kind of real uh, fight, you'll have Dot's on you ticking quite often. And they will do a fair bit. Because they just essentially charge your, your um, sort of sets up, which is really nice. I need to get rid of these. These are trash potions, these are. Ooh. So um, that's what we're using. So I'm using Ravenger with Rallying Cry. And what makes this really good is that Rallying Cry, you can put on the back bar. You can put Ravenger on the front bar. Or other alternatives, if you don't have this, could be Briar Heart. It's almost the same damage. It's like 100 less. Easy to maintain. Scathing Mage, easy to maintain. You could go Deadly Strikes as well. This would also work. But essentially, you're getting two, four, five pieces always active because they have such long buffs, especially uh, Rally and Cry. Um, I then use one piece of Baron Thrisk's mask, so it's one, two, four. If you get Magma Incarnate, which this should be, it's just not because I don't have the drop yet. Um, it's essentially Rakosa, but better because this has to be. You have to be in combat for 25 seconds for this to equal two of these. Which is like way better. Uh, Sib says, "What about Seventh Legion? The damage isn't that high on Seventh Legion, if I recall. So if I go, I, I come from Stormhaven, I think it is. Uh, no, I'm something of Storm Knight. <laughs> I know the set you mean. Where is it from? There it is. It's 309 weapon spell damage. I would personally say." Go with Powerful Assault. Like, you can give it to allies. If you're going to use that, Powerful Assault is essentially 300 weapon and spell damage, so slightly less, but you can give it to friends. So it's really good for group play. I 
last one dead. <laughs> so you can see our Ravager's already up. So yeah, I was looking at uh, like Proctat. Ah, I cheesed them with the bombs. <laughs> I so cheesed them with those uh, Mark of the Worm bombs. But yeah, essentially the best sets for this type of thing is... Oh, we just did that. I thought there was an enemy behind me. Briarheart. Powerful Assaults, um, Ravenger, all of those are really good sets. Oh, damn it. That was not good. And by doing it this way, you end up stacking loads of damage. Um, there we go. And then the damage essentially gives you really big heals. If you can think of any other alternative bat bar sets, but I think the best way to play Arcanus as a without using proc sets is to go and use um, stat dense sets. I don't know how, how, how I survived that. We didn't get, uh, that dodges all the projectiles that does. I don't know how we stayed, stayed alive there, guys. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Do you think I should have died then? But like, I thought I was dead. I was, I, was, I was like, oh no, I'm alive. I have been working on a one bar version of this too, actually. That's, this is my flag. No, 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 my flag. This is a beam. Oh, that's a terrible target stunned. I think you lose too much damage if you drop Rally. Uh, well, Rally's a kind of defensive set. I did think of something like, sounds dark, like Armor Master, but a defensive set you can chuck in the back bar. That guy almost took out the whole team he did. There isn't like many good back bar defense sets. And I'm using Sea Serpent. Sea Serpent's OB as hell. Like really, really OB. Like, you essentially can't get ganked when you're at full health. You have crazy damage when someone does try to attack you, so you've got really good um, counter burst. And this is like on any class. And the snare isn't terrible because you get snared in PvP anyway, with just how many DKs there are in the world. Zeb uh, says, what about something like Hissap? So your Hissap could work, um, or like Mara's Balm Bat Bar. I just find with his sap, it's like, it is so good. Wretched's always a good one too. Yeah, I like Wretched. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I almost jumped off the edge. Almost killed myself. I got too, I was too focused on not jumping off the edge. <laughs> and I kept down. <laughs> I was looking at it, I was like, oh no, I almost did it. Um, yeah, Wretched is a good option, for sure. Yeah, Sea Serpent is... I did 38 daily pledges, if that helps. And I, I did Marken. And a Marken I did 40 odd and I never got the lead, so I just gave up. Which is why it wasn't worth the hassle. It's not that good. It's like this. It's not terrible. The one thing I hate with the Twilight, the Twilight is so freaking tanky, isn't it? I hate healers so much. Oh, my health bar is very, very low. Well, the Twilight just gets like really crazy mitigation. So the beam, look, look at the beam. 492. Yeah, when I do that on a player, it's like 3000. And look, I'll stack it up as well. So the stat beams, five and look. Like its damage over time resistance is insane. I use it as Zahn. That's such a terrible, I just hate the set. It's, it's good, but it's just really, really. Snake and Stars is fun. Yeah, they did gimp it. <laughs> I just wish they, rather than buffing sets to counter healers, just make healing not stack. It's the better solution. But that's the big problem. I went to roll and um, it's fun but is it isn't it pretty bad now the uh, snake and the stars is, is it depends on the build I can some builds is actually pretty decent So yeah, Snake in the Stars, it's good, it's just, you have to use it like, on the right type of stuff. The 10 to 2. So yeah, I think this is like a pretty, a well-rounded setup though. So we put on a lot of armor buffs. 28k armor, 3,000 pen, uh, crit resist, sorry. The beam is really um, awkward to hit though in PvP. Not really awkward to hit. Good though when it lands.
He escaped. That's disappointing. Oh, flag. Oh, wrong bar, that bar, that bar swap was terrible. I was seeing a parent on um, Arcanist with Eldritch Horror. People were telling me he's Total Guard, but I didn't want him best. Eldritch Horror, that is. Oh, amazing. So close. He's literally running away. He was, he was waiting for his night bait, mate. There we go. Yeah, the stun gives mana vulnerability. The stun's really good. Um, I need to have a look at the set you mean. Is it a dungeon set or is it one of the new ones? You do see a lot of Arcanists so around. How's our Cyrodiil looking? 11 minutes. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Okay, it didn't do what the streak does. I freaking hate that Twilight so much. <laughs> Twilight is so annoying. <laughs> Which I've got that uh, Assault Glow and they're just spamming that Twilight Hill. It's that one there. Uh, Sip saying, talking about Snake and Star since it procs off minor debuff. I figured it would pair with Eldritch Horror. Uh, yeah, but minor debuff could be your armor buff, so your arm will be procking it anyway, because you've got minor um, breach. Snake in the Stars is good for like um, meme builds, in all honesty, which I know sounds a bit like lol, but it actually is. Um, I have also, I've literally just got this today. It dropped finally. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. You can use this. This is not a bad setup either. So you will see some people run this with the um, Master's Dual Wield, which I don't have yet. And that's a good setup. You just have a lot of your damage coming from procs, which I don't like, personally. So like, all of our damage comes from our skills that we're doing. And we have like no proc damage sets on. Uh, the set 
that Sib's talking about, for those people curious, is a PvP set. From Cyrodiil. It is down here somewhere. Snake in the stars. So it says, apply a major or minor debuff to an enemy. Apply a star venom to them for 4 seconds. Uh, this effect can occur once every 12 seconds. So you've got 8 second cooldown, basically. Uh, whenever this happens, they take uh, 1,170 oblivion damage every 0 0.1 seconds. So this is really good against necromancers who use mortal coil. But like this literally just kills them. Because mortal coil ticks every like, 0 0.1 second or 0 0.3. It's really quick. And this just ticks on cooldown. It, is, it's, it literally just destroys them. Um, this is also good to get good against like people using hissap. So if someone's got hissap on, this is a good counter to that as well. Um, the issue is it's only a four second, and a thousand oblivion damage is nice. It's like a two thousand dot essentially, but it can pro uh, proc so quickly. So this is a good set. The problem is that it's hard to line up because the requirement is so easy. So if you could like use this with a when you do a heavy attack, this would be better because you can control when you get it. Because you could do do like your combo and go heavy attack when they're stunned, so then they can't heal when they get up. Or even if it was when you stun an enemy, you then but have it so that there's more control. Because at the moment it's really it's awkward to use. Like it's not bad. It's a bit like um soldier um soldier of anguish. That's another good set as well. But again, because it's awkward to use, it's never actually used in PvP. And that is down here somewhere. Here it is. So, your melee light attacks place a ring on them. After 1.3 seconds, uh, you apply heal absorption, stopping people heal for 4.5k. So again, this is a really good set. And what's nice is... If you can land this on a person, they won't be able to heal easily. The other one is better, but it's just because it's got that long cooldown and that kind of um, long charge time, that 1.3. And um, Sib was talking about this. Uh, it gives you minor vulnerability. So, if you want to use Snake in the Stars, this would proc it. But so would your armor buff. That would also proc it too. Then you have your armor buff on anyway. So if you want to use it as kind of like a passive damage set, it's not bad with Arcanist. It's just you can't control when it works because you need your armor buff on. Uh, where are we if we're our Cyrodiil queue? So Cyrodiil, we are still 18. <laughs> and... Um, We've got a 24 minute wait, which is pretty brutal. Oh, I suppose I didn't get a bounty for that. So the one thing I would say, um, and you've seen a bit of Arcanist tonight, yeah? Is that the Arcanist, it does have a lot of um, the versatility. And it's got a really high skill ceiling. So if you're somebody who wants to jump on something that's really easy to play and is really good. <laughs> Sim says you never get an interior Um The Arcanist is not for you. It's one of those classes where it's awkward. It's very good if played well as you can see. You can get some really good kills and some good uh, damage numbers out of it. But you have to work so hard for those kills compared to say a Dragon Knight. So if you are looking for something with more killing power... Dragonite, Nightblade, Sorcerer. They have much more killing power than an Arcanist because they've got bigger burst combos. Same with Warden. What the Arcanist does well, though, is that it's got a big AoE cleave ability. And so if you're in group playing Cyrodiil and stuff, it's very, very good. Because what you can essentially do is charge up your Crux and then hit the beam and do loads of damage. And if you get two or three people synchronizing their beam at once... It is like six, seven thousand damage every point three second, so it's very good for that type of playstyle. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get into Cyrodiil anytime soon. So we're going to IC whilst we are waiting. And we'll see what mischief we can get up to. And if you get any questions about the Arcanist itself, um, how, it form, how it performs, kind of maybe what's its counter or what like what's it good at, then obviously do sort of post in the chat. And equally, if you get any questions after the stream, I do actually have a Discord. And there's like 800 people in there roughly, so there's plenty of people that can help. And if you get any questions and stuff, just feel free to obviously post in there. So there's the link if you wish. Uh, we're in battlegrounds uh, in a moment, but whilst we're waiting, we're going to just do a bit of our AC. So, Elven Gardens is where we're going to go, because that's the only yellow one, which means the Reds will be going there. So that is Arena, Memorial, Elven. Oh, Bee Gees. <laughs> Um, whilst we've talked about the Arcanist, um, I wonder what you guys think. I'm, I'm going to put a quick poll up and kind of take part if you can. But do you think the Arcanist is any good in PvP? It's been around now for a couple of weeks on PC. It's been on console recently. So hopefully you're going to see more of them on console. But just curious, what do you guys think? Is it good or not? Yep, so I've got a poll going up now. Uh, essentially, is the Arcanist good in PvP? Yes, no, or yes, but if it's in good hands, so played well. Oh, that guy at the back looks squishy. Yeah, the... Yeah, I love matches like this. When you got like really squishy people, it is amazing. Uh, Cameron says, been using MagArc with friends using Stam. We're all very good and I'm outperforming them by a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got a high skill ceiling, 100%. Hello. Goodbye. Down here. Are they gonna pop me? Are they gonna come down? Are they gonna come down? No. <laughs> no, 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 they're not gonna come down. Oh, he's a healer. That guy tried to gank me. That's a good spec by Vyam, give him that. Siv says, uh, enjoy the event, loads of people with 18 k health. <laughs> oh, he stole it. He used a beam. He used his Jesus beam. Uh, Siv says, I've only played a handful of times, messing around in one bar, and had a lot of fun, but maybe it just wasn't good enough to use it. So maybe I just wasn't good enough to use it. Um, I think it takes practice. Like I've PvP'd a lot, and like not to sound arrogant, I think I'm okay at the game. I'm not. There's people better than me, obviously, but I think I'm okay. And even I took a while to get my head around it. There you go. How dare you try to gank me? 
Oh, look at that. That's disgusting, that was. Oh, we got the ball. I didn't even realise we were doing Chaos Ball. <laughs> I thought it was Deathmatch. <laughs> I, I literally thought it was Deathmatch. Okay, that was an easy kill. Uh, so we're gonna try and catch with these people here. Got our free uh, Crux beam ready. I hate with that rune. There we go, that's silly enough, they're just trying to get me. Jason said he's seen a lot of no uh, Arcanists in BGs and they're really strong. But, is he still with the ball? How's he got, I can't even see the ball on him. That guy apparently had the ball. Now, is it me or does it look like that guy took no damage? Oh, he said that was a bug. <laughs> yeah, he had a bug. <laughs> He's like, I was not cheating. <laughs> uh, to be fair, the game's buggy as hell, so I'm not surprised. But yeah, as Jason says that he is good if it's kind of used well um, and it can do a lot of damage and it's tanky. I think it's taking people to get their head around how to play it. Like it's not a warden. It's not a DK. But yeah, we're queued for BGs. Where are we in our Cyrodiil queue? We're still 18. <laughs> I do get asked um, quite often, actually, like, Dan, why don't you put much Cyrodiil stuff on the channel? And it's because when I get on, typically the queues are quite big, especially in like, events. But even on the weekend, it, they are. there's normally a queue in some capacity even like non-event unless you go to one of the quieter campaigns so we can try one of the smaller ones i was just hoping to get my de like tier one on this character here um let's try <laughs> ellen says the syracuse is mental we could try one of these let's go let's let's go fight some ad okay we're going to cyrodiil uh, we'll do the seven day one Uh, Sib says uh, that's what makes them fun. They don't feel like any other class. And I think that's it. I think um, it's one of those classes where it's it's just different, which is nice. Like you're trying to build around this beam and you're trying to build around sort of damage and stuff. And it's you can do it for sure. You know, I've stacked damage and I have loads of it. And actually we hit really hard. Oh, Ellen says she's going to pop into IC instead because of the Q. Okay, we're going to go down to Glade Mist. Um, just a quick um, sort of heads up. My mount is very bad on this character. <laughs> like, I think it will be quicker to walk. Oh, BGs. Right. 
So Ellen said it's going to go to Icy. Maybe we can go there because I don't have to have the mount issue, which is the big problem. Um, I will be putting a full build video for this on my Patreon. Um, and then I will put it onto YouTube uh, once kind of once it's all finished and stuff. But if you want to obviously support and stuff, there is a Patreon that I have. It's the best way to do so. Details are there. And I hope to get kind of a lot more out. But I've been just testing like loads of stuff for the past couple of weeks. Which is why there's been a bit of a sort of dry, um, dry spell on the channel. Because I don't want to put out stuff that is like bad. Uh, Sib says uh, a new character. Yeah. It literally is a new... You can see the skill lines... Like, they're not fully leveled up yet. So, like, even fighter skill, that's not maxed. I don't even have my alchemy. So, like, I'm missing a few things. There's not enough to kind of be, like, make or break the build. But it would obviously make the build a little bit better than it currently is. But, yeah, so if, if you are kind of wondering where's the content on the channel and stuff, it's just because I always test my stuff thoroughly before I make a video and obviously with a new patch and a new class especially you have to just go through these things properly and I think what I've got now is a good setup whereas if I posted my original one I think I could have put something that wouldn't be as good why would he do that okay you can die hey blast man stole the kill So we're going to move around to the right. So we can intercept that there. There, I managed to catch him with the beam. How do I get those assists? Oh, that DK literally saved his life for that, st that stun. That's him dead. He literally he followed the wrong way, didn't he? Come on, Mr. DK. Come on! Oh, oh okay, that, that's, that's a different DK. Not that one. Oh, I got greedy. I got so greedy. I killed him. I killed him, but I got greedy. <laughs> Sometimes when you're PvP and you do see red, and you're like... Oh, I just, I'm just, yeah. Like, if I was on a stand blade, I could have roll dodged um, my execute and would have killed him and probably like survived. But because obviously I'm on uh, this, everything's a channel. Close up Crozef on. But yes. I hate Crozef so much. Yeah. Berlin Talons, 6k because of Corrosive. <laughs> Sometimes it's about sending a message. <laughs> yeah. My cat is probably a proper own one, so I'm... I might need to give him some food in a sec. Oh, look at that. That was horrible. That was... That was actually horrible. Uh, Meteor is really good on Arcanist, by the way. I was using it uh, about two weeks ago. It's one of the best alts, because you can, like, sync it up with the rune. And it's just so much damage. Thank you. Dead. 
I do like how tanky you can be on an Arcanist, especially in a 1v1 situation. I'm so slow. I'm s sea Serpent Snare is disgusting. <laughs> I can't streak, I can't put on any speed buff. So we're just moving around to the side template here. Has literally just done a poo in the cat tray, so I will need to go clear up in a sec. You'd think you'd be able to stun this guy at some point. I've hit him with a stun like five times. He's literally trying trying to get me with this Templar stun. Is it rough elements on? It went through the wall. <laughs> the radiant impression went through the wall. It did. Oh, that was uh, mad. Radiant impression so good. That was that dude there. Literally spamming radiant. It's, it's such a good skill. I was just looking at the poll. So. um a lot of people generally saying, yeah, the Arcanist is pretty good. Like, it's a good class in PvP. Um, but a lot of people, almost half, say you kind of need to be a good player to sort of play it. Which I think that that's probably a fair reflection on, on where it sits, actually. Because it's one of those classes where it's really good. Um... But you need a lot of skill. Uh, Tati Ray says, quick question for you. Which poisons do you use for PvP? Um, I don't use poisons on this. I use one fire glyph and one poison glyph. Because they proc the status effects with charge really easily. And so I get burning and I get po um, poison from there. I then also get the um, brittle, which is like chill and vulnerability here. I then get the bl uh, hemorrhaging and I get saundered because this is a physical skill. Um, so all of that kind of poisons aren't really useful for this build. Uh, normally though, I'll use double dot poisons. So anything with um, poison damage twice, basically. Some people will put on the bat bar more specialist poisons. Um, they're normally called escapist poison. And essentially what they do is they will um, give you sort of stamina and sort of immobilize the target. So I need to find where they are. I don't really carry them much. So some people use the drain health, which is the double dot poisons here. Some people use entrapping, which uh, immobilizes them. Some people use a mix where it does this and it does some damage. Or some people would use it where it gives you resources. So there's a few that people put on the back bar, but typically for damage, it's normally double dot poisons. Uh, Mega Mind says, uh, "What's up, Dan? Been a while. How are you?" 
Um, yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, I'm all good. Um, I think, as you can imagine being a teacher, um, I'm very busy this time of year. Um, so, yeah. But no, beyond that, like, all good. Just busy and obviously with being busy you don't get as much time to make contents but there's only two three weeks left three and a bit weeks of the school year left and then i'm off for uh six weeks which would be really cool so i'm looking forward to that um i'll just switch to the dot plug quickly tatty just to show people um it's and also to show you what i'm using on that quickly and then that also gives me time to give the cat some food because he keeps scratching the door <laughs> so um yeah joys of having pets eh Oh, and before I forget, um, is it clearer, the stream today? I've been changing some settings um, behind the scenes. And I'm curious to see, is it clearer, basically? So I'll leave that there. Um, but yeah, if you could uh, reply or put a thumbs up or something, that'd be helpful or message on discord um but it'd be good to know what people think basically is like is it better or not because you never know you don't watch your own streams as such all right and whilst um i'm gonna show the template i'm gonna quickly just sort the cat out quick so it'll be like a minute Hello. So it's just sorting the cat's tray out. Um, really quick for people curious. Uh, this is the dot plot. There's a video on the channel. It basically stacks dots. It's really stupid. Uh, black rose, but I'm using double dot poisons. So these are good. You can get some that give um, extra stam drain, which is quite nice. Or you can just go with just double dots. So there's a few different variations, but these are really good. And then obviously it's Valken Scoria, Ethereum Ascension and Foe. Uh, Tati says, yeah, it's amazingly fun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it is a really good uh, class and a good build to play. And it's one of those ones where it it's deceptive the damage because you do the damage to somebody and they don't realize until they get stunned and then they've got essentially 10 sort of 10 to 15 dots on them and they're having an execute put on them as well so the hills kind of just the dots just overpower the hills and then your beam just finishes them off it's really really fun oh, we're going back on the arcanist though and we'll see if we can we're going to IC and do some imperial city And I will jump on Nightblade as well, because uh, somebody asked earlier. Which, and I really like Nightblade. <laughs> like, I really, really enjoy Nightblade. Okay. So back on the Arcanist. 
Let's go into Imperial City. Look, there's a bit of action in there, which is great. <laughs> uh, Tati says, uh, walking into a 5 on 1 and hitting the DK with the dots is so funny watching them die. Yeah, literally, that's partly why I made the build. Um, a mate of mine on Discord was like, Dan, DKs are really OP. Like, their healing's insane. Their corrosive is insane. Like, they just don't die. Like, is there a counter? And essentially, that's what I came up with because I got annoyed with them myself. Um... And the whole idea of it is that you basically just put so much sustained damage that corrosive can't mitigate it because it's damage over time. You then also have so much damage for a long time that you can't outheal it because it's so much pressure because it's 20 seconds. So they just don't have to sustain. What's oh, it, Red? Oh, he's a... You can tell he's, he's a PvP player. He's got his mate with him. So his mate's got his sap on. And a knife blade. Just repositioning. So this is where you want Dawnbreaker. So I'm waiting for my potion to uh, kick in. Oh, that's a massive spec bow that was. Oh, that was a spec bow. How big was that spec bow? 10k. Oh. That is the only thing the Arcanist lacks. Like, if he was on a warden in that situation, yeah, you could turn around and do Dawnbreaker into Deep Fisher and catch somebody out really quick. And you can't do that easy on an Arcanist. Like, it's possible, but anybody with any good reaction sp speed. Yeah, so you can see that that is a that group is coordinated, and they got that oh, that that Zahn. How much? How much is that Zahn? Zahn and Beam. You can tell literally they would just move around as one. That's where Arcanus um, has its like issues. Doesn't have the mobility like Streak. You can use Mist Form, and it kind of helps. And doesn't have the big burst still. But it's good for this kind of stuff, for like crowd control, it's really good for that. So you can see they are literally... Oh, I hate Zahn so much. But you can see they move as one they do. He did shots like that. So yeah, I definitely think the Arcanist is really good in BGs and in like one-on-ones. Not bad in kind of 1v2, but as soon as you get sort of more than that, you're not going to catch anybody competent out on an Arcanist because you just don't have to burst. 
But still really fun class though. So we'll grab that sky shard because I'm low on skill points. Let me just arm. Oh. I managed to get him to stun. <laughs> yeah, you can stun them with misfor uh, through misform, by the way. Yeah, that's so. I miss playing Sork. <laughs> when you see somebody on Sork, you really want to play yourself. You see all the like, status effects on him. I could have Nightblade. Uh, we're gonna go around to the other area and see if we can get some more fights. So that's the difference of having burst in the class. He's doing well though, that's all. I think he's gonna get him. We were just watching. <laughs> Those ads hit hard. There's a nightblade that came out. <laughs> it was failed strike and arterial burst. And then the warden. But that's what you just, you lack that. And you can see against anything mobile like a sulk, you just don't have the burst. I have used, and I found this works better, using a meteor for like open world. You get a lot more success with that. You do then you do with say um, the big tentacle thing to get some of our crux up so that's, so that's a group that's coming together so we're going to move away from that because it's having a demise. See all the debuffs. Oh, I went to go for these a meteor on the night blade. We hit the toxic barrage and the scavenging demise. And I think this is what the this is what I noticed with the Arcanist, and I'm curious to see what you guys think. Is that against really outnumbered fights, it's not great. Like it's not terrible. 
but like compared to other classes it is it doesn't have the same kit if that makes sense but I still enjoy it it's still a fun class to play uh, we'll check our serial queue as well I'm hoping to get into Cyrodiil tonight. But I'm mindful that we've been in this queue for a long time. Uh, Sib says, yeah, it's hard to 1BX on. It is and it isn't. Like, it's hard to 1VX on if... Oh, that was TK. Oh, I don't mean to do that. Why did my coil not fire? He's got acuity on it, yes, for big burst. We'll move around here. So you can see with Meteor, it is pretty good. Oh, that was, I was went to push my shield. You can see I pushed the button too. Yeah, DK is like playing on crack. It is. It's so good. <laughs> it seems like that dude was, oh, I'm helping. I died in immediately. It definitely feels like um, you need a movable pots with this class because you don't, you, you don't have a lot of sustain unless you really, really limit your damage. Away from the person. I did push my missile there. I had to push it twice, then that's annoying. Attachi says they're going to shoot off. The yellow got me from above. And then Warden Demetia. Uh, Tati says, uh, Enjoy night and cheers for answering the question. Yeah, that's fun. So I'm going to go on my night bed in a sec just because I'm going to show the light attack Larry, which I enjoy. It's a silly, silly build. Okay, we need to go to the next one. I think the one thing I wish they would do for the Arcanist, um, it just reduced the skills a little bit. Like they're really, really expensive. The um, heals particularly. 
So like this skill here, it's really expensive. Four and a half K Magicka. Whereas like any other sort of Magicka heal is generally less. Like two to three K that is. And that's, if you go to like um, Rapid Regen, it's essentially the same heals as this, but it's quicker. And it can heal other people. That's the only thing I'd say, that's the only problem with the class, is the skills are expensive. Beyond that, really fun. I'll get rid of all the guards quickly. Oh, what a time to get in the gate. Silly cop. That guy will not die. Yeah, I literally spent all the all my resources trying to get rid of that card. <laughs> I couldn't get rid of it. Even like, even the the DK guards is mad healing. I'm curious to see how much um, we did to that guard. So Flay was like 15k we're doing to that uh, NPC. It was doing 12k ticks to that guard, and the guard just just kept healing through. That's mad. That is. I've never seen a guard do that much healing. Uh, the guy, the guard was chucking out stun, so I wanted to go and get rid of that person, that NPC as such. We got the reds. So when there's four there, you can see these are like PvP players. That Sork is going to get killed. <laughs> but that group's too coordinated. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Like when, you, when you get a group like that, you've got four people there. Look at that. Look, it's gone to full love, Ken. I still can't get over that guard's healing. Uh, we'll queue for BGs whilst we're waiting because it looks like in Imperial City there are um, lots of like groups, which is fine, but going against a group as a solo player, you're not going to do that well. Especially, obviously, if they're a PvP group. Which, obviously, is very clear. There are a few of those running around. But, like, when you get players like that, Arkness is really good. Well, this flood takes ages to cap, doesn't it? Is that Sork from earlier? Mm. 
Oh, he went. He literally just logged out. We rescued that person. So, um, yeah, if you were wondering about Serial, we did queue up earlier, and it we literally was like a. It says 23 minutes, but we've been in the queue like all evening, so we just gave up in the end and went to IC. So this will be the last uh, one on the BG, and then I'll switch. And as I said earlier, if you get questions um, after the stream and stuff, I do have a Discord, so you are welcome to join. Uh, details there. And if you are somebody who has seen the sets earlier, I would appreciate if um, you wait till the video's up before you kind of share it. Just because I've not seen anybody do it and I'd like to kind of get the video up so people can get them on the cheap before obviously it goes up in price rapidly. So we've got a DK, Warden, Templar and Templar. Sulk, DK and Warden against us. On our team we've got obviously myself, so DK, Templar and Arcanist. So I'm just having a quick scout of the health bars. These guys are mad. They are. So there's lots of tanky people in this match here. So we just move around the side. Just in a good feel for. Oh, his little uh, things healing him. Move around to the side. I'm gonna keep the team out alive. So you, you notice I've been uh, focused on keeping that the guy alive on our team. That's him dead. Uh, DK is tanky as hell, isn't he? Just charging our beam up again. I can't feel them chasing me here. I went to go from a meteor and then into the beam. We'll just push around and catch up 
with the Chaos Ball. Eleven Dark is so good. Want to get up there? Oh no, <laughs> we fell down. <laughs> we just pop up to the side. He had a lot of self heals, didn't he? Yeah, I was trying to cure, gave up in the end, Ellen. Have you tried? Uh, have you gotten Cyrodiil yet or not, Ellen? I'm just moving up to the side. Probably should get the ball at some point. Templar Hill is so busted. There we go. Oh, look at that. That was tasty. That was. That was like, was it four people? Hopefully he's ulti dead. Uh, I see it was laggy. Uh, he didn't bother. I think Acuity would be really good on uh, on Narcanist. Oh, Ely's out one. There we go, got him. Uh, gonna chill for out of the threat tonight, playing Sims 4. <laughs> I used to play Sims 4 uh, a while back. <laughs> Me and that other Arcanist dude were like waiting for him to come round. That was a nice burst there, that was. No, 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 no.
He's at mass lock as well. <laughs> almost burst, almost had him. That was good though. One, 1. 1.5 million damage. Oh, 15 to 1. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, I'm gonna go and do one match on my Nightblade, I think. And then I'll probably call it there because it is late where I am. But um, if you get questions after the stream and stuff, as I said, there is a Discord. Um, so, see, oh, not this one, not, not this Nightblade. Um, so, yeah, there's a bit in chat already. <laughs> Ellen says, GG. Yeah, Arcanist is good. It's a. Uh, it's not DK. Uh, Clint says Templars don't die. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Templars do not die. I think it's because they've got the Living Dark, which is, it's like Hissap, but as a skill, it's really, really good. I'm going to put a post in the chat of what Living Dark does. So, uh, I might have to put a two bits, sadly, but you get the idea. It's part one, and that's part two. So, that's what Living Dark does as a skill. Uh, envelop yourself in a lightness sphere for 10 seconds to protect yourself. Anytime you take damage, the sphere lashes back at the attacker, reducing the movement speed by 40% for 3 seconds and healing you for 2066 health. These can occur every half second. So that's. It is literally his sap. <laughs> it's probably better than his sap, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better than his sap. So that's basically hit sap, but every second. This is hit sap here. So his uh, his sap, after being hit with a disabling effect, was now you heal for two k every one second for five seconds. And everybody knows his sap is really really good. And against an arcanist, when you're using the beam, you are proccing their living dark heal every half second. So it is really really um, good, like really good um, self heal. It's also good because if people try to attack you, they get snared. And so what you can then do is you can go and um, essentially run away <laughs> because the snare is so big. But yeah, Clint's just like, damn. <laughs> Honestly, it's such a strong uh, thing. Uh, this is Light Attack Larry, by the way, this build. It is one of my favourite builds. It is so stupid as a like, idea, and I made this build about two and a half, three years ago. Um, there's videos on the channel, but essentially most of our damage comes from light attacks. 
as you just see. It's like so much damage. And you can basically use this on any class, but Nightblade and Sulk is very good for this. And there will be a build video coming out on the channel. But this is just like a troll build. Like it's not a 1vx build, but it is, it's got good damage. Uh, whilst we're queuing for um, Battlegrounds, we'll go into Imperial City and just see if we can get some small fights with this. I'll just show you what it does. It's, it's different. There's our CB. Dead. So you can see, like, it, it has... It just does chunks of damage, like, really, really easily. Uh, Ellen's like, that build. Elven Gardens. Yeah, I was showing Ellen it, um, and some other people on uh, EU just to kind of see what it does. And it's very silly. Like, the amount of damage it does for so little effort is pretty impressive. And there is a better set that we can use as well, but, but I just need to farm it. <laughs> Ellen runs away. Well, we've got Cloak as well. You here to cause trouble too? I love Cloak. Yeah, so we'll see if we can get into some fights nice and quick. He's running away! Oh, <laughs> he's putting his spell out. He ran away. So yeah, <laughs> you can see the damage is pretty stupid. Like, it is pretty, pretty stupid. But you, so that warden had a proper build. You could see that we were doing like big chunks of his health with just very little effort. Just checking things are okay my end. They seem okay my end stream wise. Uh, Ellen says oof the lag. So I'm trying to work out what it is. Hopefully that should be better. Yeah, is the lag better? That is a no, it's okay now. Okay, that's good. And this also uses um, Oaken Soul, so it's like really, really. Only be one night blade. I'm, I'm gonna die here. They should have gone for the execute, he didn't. I'm glad I'm gonna get hit by multiple people. Things like fire and what else? Uh, we're just gonna move away from here. This is why I like the night bed. They're not gonna see us if we hide. Okay, they see us. <laughs> they see us. Uh, Clint says, What set? Uh, Way of the Fire, yes. There's another set which is like so good for this. Um, and there will be a build video coming out for this. There is a short on the channel already, um, which is worth a look at. 
and it kind of just shows you um, what this can do. So there's the short, really, really fun um, build. So I will make a video for this. If you want to kind of make it even more busted, use um, a mag sulk with this and use overload because this all works with overload. So you essentially do like 15k light attacks with overload. It's stupid. If you uh, send me a message on Discord, Clinton, I'll, um, I'll show you the other bit. But I like to kind of go through a video and kind of go, I use this because of this. And obviously going through it now, I don't want to sort of rush it. I want to give it the time it deserves. There's a DK up there. How many DKs are there in this match? One. Two. Oh, there's only four DKs out of 12 players. Not like there's any other classes in the game. The, w the burst heal on DK is so broken. <laughs> so broken. Listen, I've got that DK down to like so low health. And just bang full health. Instant. Yeah, this is not a brawler build. Just a heads up. You're meant to like sit at range and do, do this. Oh, he's not up like him out. <laughs> 13 k in gap. So we are squishy, as you can see. But if you sit in a group with this, it's just loads of free damage. So those reds are working together. I can't get over how many DKs there are in this match. It's actually stupid. Oh, that knife that came from behind again. <laughs> yeah, so many DKs. Like, I shouldn't be going for DKs because their burst heals are way too big. So I can get them low health and they're just going to bang for health. So that was a good kill. Uh, Tate says, I'll be waiting for that Patreon Gold exclusive build video with the mags I'm going to overload. Oh, 100%. I just always spend a couple uh, weeks. Look at that, see? <laughs> so stupid. A couple weeks just testing stuff properly. There you go. He's, he escaped. Oh, do you see, see, see that burst hill? That was disgusting. Do you see how disgusting that burst hill was in that DK? Oh, he got me the... With the ink up in the entire arterial burst. He's using Titan Born ears. I bet he's gonna be waiting down here for us. So we're gonna pop straight into stealth. Skindar cursed them! They've captured the point! Where's that Nightblade gone? 
but yeah, I will uh, be making a sulk with this. It's really stupid. Um, there's a better set as well, which I will be showing, and I need to farm. But it's it's currently bugged, so essentially you get double damage out of it. Oh, I've almost made it. Almost made that jump. Going one on one against a DK on a squishy night bed. Stendar is with us. We've captured the point. Stendar can't. <laughs> uh, that that uh, night bed got hit. He tried to gank me and then he got hit with that leap. Yeah, that Dover down there is using uh, Titanborn and the other one. Uh, you could use it in Cyrodiil. It's more kind of made to sit with a group. Because you have like so much range damage. There you go, he's dead. And our sustain is pretty solid. Let's just uh, run away. Run away. That's it. I knew if I went down that I would get killed really fast. Oh, the <laughs> I killed the night blade. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's a. Uh, you could use this in Cyrodiil, and a lot of our damage comes from the set, so you could go as a tank and just stack heavy armor and have like 40k health and still have similar damage to this. I prefer to go for a little bit more damage because I'm. That's kind of just how I'm used to playing. Oh, uh, I went to push my in-cap and it didn't fire. There you go. There we go. Oh, fucking Nightblade. <laughs> he's, I swear, he's, like, he's literally waiting for me, he is. If you notice, he doesn't do it to any of the DKs because they have their bursts are too big. It's definitely a high risk, high reward though, that place that guy's using.
Are we going to sit here and uh, hold block? <laughs> because that, that was something the Nightmare doing these uh, shenanigans. We have secured the point. Uh, Jeremy says he finds Arkan is great for PvP damage. Uh, good damage, not a lot of burst. Though, but great damage and so tanky. Master Inferno, uh, Bloodspawn Monster Set, Malakath. I haven't used Malakath on it. I guess if you're not doing much crit damage. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he literally killed himself. You can, see, you can see the damage that we get is really, really high. Oh, we got him. Even with his fucking re up uh, bash. Oh, the Nightblade got me though. <laughs> We killed the DK. So you can see that the burst on this is really high for very little effort. I think Jeremy's kind of sums up the Arcanist quite well though in it's good damage, it's just not burst. And obviously you, you kind of need burst. Hey, you come back. There we go. And where's that night bed? This one won't mind the tech pots. So it is on free ceiling up, so I'm gonna wait for that to run out. So that they are in chat, they are those two. Because you can see I went straight for that purple guy who's their healer, and he just ran straight over to us. So he's um, off heels. Somehow we're winning. I don't really feel like I've done a million damage. I don't feel like we've done much to help, though. You can also gank as well if you, if you do a. There you go. So we're holding block because there's a night blade that has like stacked all their damage. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There, I got him up there. Look at that. Ah, I got him. Got him. 
Ah, oh, we managed to get him. Oh, his shield got him. His shield saved his life. Almost had that DK as well. That shows you the damage this thing has, though. 1.3 million damage. Oh, honestly, I love this build. It's so stupid. And with Cloak, it's just... Really good. Oh, I'm well chuffed at that last bit where that Dover tried to gank us and we managed to roll and kill him. Shame about that DK right at the end. I got so close to killing him and then his leap literally did it. I'm going to do one more uh, with this build and we'll see if we can get into Cyrodiil or Icy. But yeah, it's just such a silly way to play uh, the game really because most of our damage is from sets. I'm just um, updating my vampire because it's almost um, down to stage two and we want stage three. And that is the only defense we have on this build. And we'll eat this person here. And I will do one more. And whilst we're waiting, um, We'll go into IC and see if we can get some cheeky kills in there. I said Black Reach isn't bad now. That was awful earlier. Greyhouse has got a massive Q. Okay, and we'll go into IC first because we'll be able to get quicker fights in there. Um, and we might be able to sneak into Black Reach as well. But yeah, if you have joined for this part of the stream, um, we've been on the Arcanist for most of the night and we're just moving on to Nightblade just to do something a bit different. But yeah, the Arcanist is very, very fun. Uh, let's go to Temple. You own that one. Arena, Memorial, Elven, Nobles. I'm used to the uh, yellow home base. That's what I used to play on Xbox. There is fighting. We go this way around. Can we find where that fight was? And one of the advantages of being a night blade is that you can sneak around. Yep. We will have to go the other way. I see a red. I see a red. Ah, oh, they got through the door. Can we get them on the other side? Can we get them? That is the question. They've gone through. Where did they go? That's ours. So the Nightblade literally just run and put someone out of stealth. Hello, Mr. Knight played. <laughs> he just feared us. That's hilarious. That's literally what we did. Oh, there it is. Let's see. If we, uh, 
There's somebody over there. Ah, oh, we killed him. But I think I don't think it was a PvP player though. So who else can we find? I'm gonna move up to the uh, next dis district. that poor guy. There we go. Freaking Templar. Lich is running around the pillars. <laughs> really annoying. <laughs> you can also use this as a sniper as well, which is why I like. So essentially, what you do is you heavy attack into poison injection, or your people just kill them. And you actually get a lot, you get um, similar damage to doing snipe and silver shards at the same time. I said, I said, deleted that poor guy. <laughs> um, the survival, if you do make this though, and I will kind of go through in the build video much more, I'm staying alive a, like quite a long time just because I can move well on a night blade. That's literally it. Didn't have enough burst, I, I ran out of resource. Are <coughs> we own this one so we can come back? So, th like, this is not a 1vx build. Against bad players, it's pretty fun. He had a attack potion on. <laughs> I thought it was just trying to heal. I literally, they look great with the in cabin take flight. Like, those two are definitely in voice chat to like coordinate the ults. I reckon if I can get rid of one, I might be able to take both. N not there's a whole red group. Hi, red group. Yeah, that that's just like suicide. That is. Bee juice is ready. 
That snow, that snow is disgusting. We took our BGQ. Because it doesn't run out. I would have died there as well though. <coughs> there you go. I knew I would have died from that. Yeah, it seems like he put, they put the whole squad. Sometimes you do find that as a, a content creator, when people see your name, it's like just a massive target on your back. They're like, oh, look, go get him. And I speak to people like Delta and stuff and nice ESO when he was making ESO content. And they all had the same thing. Like people who are, I don't want to say sweaty, but like PvP a lot will go and kind of go out the way to try and attack you just because they want to kind of show they're better or not as so you do get a lot of like unwanted attention sometimes yes, the point is ours. snaggles in here it's on my team he's it, on a night bed <laughs> That master's jaw is just disgusting. Look at that, a thousand dot damage a second. I'll sit, I'll sit in stealth, thank you. We'll get some resources back. <laughs> I'm like so low on resources. Leg break. Leap. That was a nasty leap that was. It literally like dragged me across the screen. Like, I rolled one way and went the other way. Did not expect that. Yeah, see if this master's jaw is good. It needs enough. It's really, really good OP. There you go. Oh, full damage. You're getting full damage. There's only two DKs this match, so it's not as bad. I really hope they do nerf the Master Jewel though, because it's so good. Uh, got him with the light attack. Oh, 
Oh, I should not, should not have done that. <laughs> should not have done that. <laughs> you know when you do something, you go a bit greedy, and then, yeah, that's what happens. There we go. My healing that guy out there was insane. Yeah, they're both dead. I got him. No, <laughs> run away, <laughs> run away. <laughs> I don't think I'll get, I'll get enough. I just, I've, I've ran out of resource so much. <laughs> Literally, you can see the Rendon Slash is 11,000. That's with the Master's Dual Wield. That's the difference between the Master's Dual Wield and not. 2,000 without, 11,000 with. Like, literally, that's how good it is. I got him. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys th uh, think of the light attack build that I'm using? Uh, just pushing up here as well to see where they are. Beam got me. 10,000 two ticks. <laughs> I take this seems like fun. Honestly, it's really, really silly. And if you like, if you made this, you could just go in heavy armor, as I said, and just sit at range. There 
they got. Why are they bringing them to me? I don't, I don't, I don't, that one's squishy. Ten to six. Uh, Tate says it seems like fun. Yeah, it, honestly, it really is, mate. And I think Sork does it better because you've got better skills. You've got a streak to get around, so you can in and out. You've got Haunting Curse if you want to add some extra delay. You've got the Execute, so you can chuck the Execute on somebody first and then just spam skills. And essentially, all we do, all we need to do is find... Um, we can do it here. So you, you hit the... Put your skills and you just deep buff them and then you just light attacks. Look. That mud crab, crab was out on steroids, wasn't it? Look at this was so much hits to get down. And you can also with the nightmare you can cloak and poison injection. And you get good burst. So there's a few ways to use this. If you know they're like a squishy target, just cloak into heavy tap poison injection. You get really good damage. So we're going to IC whilst we're waiting. Just because my mount is so bad in Cyrodiil. We'll be there for ages. Like it's not... Oh, actually it's not too, too bad. I thought I thought it was worse than that. Okay, we'll go IC and then... Um, if it takes a while, we'll jump in, into Blackreach. Uh, what is that one? That one is Elven. So we'll try and get into the action nice and quick. So yellow to just flip this. So we don't know how many yellows there are. But we're going in. None there. They've killed the boss. So I'm using cloak like there's no tomorrow. Oh, I see red. He's a master's jaw ward on. Ah, oh, I hit the oh, and that's Mercer Lock. <coughs> yeah, ma Master's Jewel is so good. He's using a uh, Master's Jewel Ward, Vate, Destro, and Mercer Lock. So essentially what it does is stack loads of proc damage. And then Mars uh, and Dots Master Lock just hits you really hard. Let's see where the fights are. We can go to Nobles. And hopefully we can get some fights there. Or we could go into the sewers. And go down to like uh, Molag Val. Because there's people that normally farm that. Oh, 
I don't see any reds here at all. Any signs of reds. So I've all heard fighting <laughs> music. BGs. Uh, this will probably be my last one. Um, I will, be, in the week, record the build videos for the ones I've shown on stream. So, I will show the build video for the Arcanist. And I've also got a one bar Arcanist as well. And then I'll show the build video for this light attack build and also the Magic Assault version. Um, as always, I always post them on Patreon first. Um, so it's just kind of like a way to say thanks for people supporting and stuff. Um, but they do go on YouTube eventually, on the whole. But uh, there's details there if you uh, were interested in that. Um, we're in Capture the Relic. We have a Nightblade with us, a Templar and a Sulk. We have an Arcanist against us, a Sulk, a DK, uh, DK, uh, Nightblade, Nightblade, Warden, DK. Okay, so... Three DKs could be worse. Could be worse. We got that relic, is that ours? Go on, matey, you run for your life. Oh no, he's in corrosive. No, 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 that was bad. That was bad. His corrosive's got end off soon. Uh, Louis, uh, I think it's pronounced Louis. I'm assuming that's French. Uh, Louis says, I like the light attack build, you know. Yeah, light attack Larry. Absolutely love it. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they got me. The, the salt ever did it. Uh, see that? that was like 8k that was just with a light attack poison injection is so stupid <laughs> that's him dad that burst you see it burst there he goes dead too that burst on that night blade though. Oh a snaggle. Come here, Snaggle. <laughs> He's on my friend list, by the way. Yeah, I think that I think the burst, considering how easy this is 
to use is pretty disgusting. Oh, his earth core, his teammate's earth core saved his life. I just ran out of resources, I was run, trying to run away. Where the fire? Where the fire's great. Such a good set. <laughs> he, he had a healer with him. That good guy there, his earth core literally, like. There, it went off again. There you go. There you go, go ahead. <laughs> There's an Arcus up here. I'm in Mr. Arkness. Go on, Mr. Templar. Did our temper? Oh no, I jumped in the water. That's not good. That is not a good place to go. <laughs> no. Oh, I went to. He managed to roll the ink out. That was good. That was good, though. The yeah, Snaggle's got Way of the Fire and the. Oh. Black Rose dot, uh, bow. So his scatter shot has like a big dot on it. Uh, so, so, that was 8k, that was that, that last one.
Oh, I went for the end cap. The Toxic Barrage. 11,000. A million damage. Snag away, Andred. Oh, I'm going to try and save this guy's life. Toxic. <laughs> I was running, I had two Nightblades chasing me and I couldn't cloak because of the uh, reveal. You can see how much cloak is, like just how strong cloak is if you can use it well. Over a million damage again. We're going to go for the gank. Any moment now. There we go. Look at that. Oh. He died well quick, didn't he? Where did he go? Take that kill. They're gonna follow me in here? No, they're not. Bye bye. Oh, look at that. Ink happened to step bow. Br like, brutal. I think we could actually have our team. I want to grab the relic. <laughs> oh, no. Heal me, I'm so low on health. I can't cloak. <laughs> oh, there we go. We, we, managed, we managed to help. That's so good. I'm so low on resource. Ah, we got him. We got him. No, no, but they can't get that. I think the purples are going to do it. They're going to win it. Ah, oh. 1.4 million damage. That was a, it's a fun little build. 
fun little build indeed. So, um, just looking at the time, I'm probably going to call it there, guys. It is very late where I am. Um, as always, though, if you do get any questions about builds and stuff, um, leave a comment, join the Discord. I'm generally more active on the Discord. So, if you get, obviously, something urgent, typically join there and message there, and I'm more likely to get it. Um, if you want to support myself and stuff, I do have a Patreon, as I said earlier. Uh, there's details here, so feel free to look and yeah they will be coming on youtube in a couple weeks um patreon probably next week but i'm going to kind of call it there so i'm going to say a massive thanks to everyone that's tuned in and that has watched a big thanks to all the people who are subscribed and a bigger thanks to all the people on patreon who help make the videos possible as always though take care guys thanks for watching and bye